YouTube. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us little channels reach a thousand subscribers so we can stay on the air. If we don't reach a thousand in a year, you know, they can take our channel off the air. So we don't really want that to happen. But anyway, thanks for stopping by again. What we're going to do, we're going to do something a little different today. And should know the wind would start blowing and my microphone is dead. So, anyway, we're going to work on the old Mercury Zephyr today. This was my grandfather's car. Start doing a little bit to it. It's been sitting in a body shop for probably eight, nine years. Drove in occasionally. And uh, I'll do an update on what we've done to it so far and what we're going to do. But right now we're going to go over and take the air hose and blow out. Bleh. We're going to go over and take the air hose and blow out seven or eight years worth of body dust. So let's go. Right Connect this little hose up. See what we can blow out here. Ah. at one point in the recent past that I have forgotten I have blowed it off on here so it's just naturally that bad all the overspray through the years have just stuck to it but we're gonna fix her up it's really a unique uh, little car you don't see too many of them that survived but anyway my grandfather bought this Ypsilanti Michigan Cecily Lincoln Mercury was the dealer I rode home in it when it was brand new My grandfather passed away <clears throat> then my grandmother gave it to my dad dad kept it for a few years did a few little things not much and then he gave it to me and just been real busy with the shop and I don't know something right now is just kind of tugging on me telling me I need to work on this so I don't know how the audio is gonna be the winds picking up really bad we'll have to see how it goes but anyway so what I've done to it, it is it does have a competition cam in it. I don't remember the exact cam car, what it was. I have it in the car. Aluminum intake. Um, old set of uh, Proline wheels, which when they're polished up, they look pretty good. It's never set outside, but this winter I've let it sit out there for a couple months. Like I said, it's a 78 Mercury Zephyr, not a Fairmont. It came factory with a straight six, and my grandfather was not having that. So it come from the factory with a 302 two barrel. Uh, these were the first Fox body, chassis, car, ever how you want to look at that. Um, so everything from a Mustang from 1979 to what is it 92 93 somewhere in I think 93 maybe uh, We'll bolt under it <clears throat> So it has a 373 8.8 .8 rear end under it. It's running a C4 transmission the original trance still the car has 49,000 original miles the short block is all original um, never uses any oil get ready to change it now because it's been a very long time but it's not low it's just needing a change we're going to start spiffing it up I'm going to try to find me a set of aluminum heads for it that uh, complete the package Ford just has no valves I mean the intake valves on these heads are 160's <laughs> but anyway and that's pretty much what we've done to the motor it's got headers and he's all cleaned up. I have a dress up kit and stuff for it. One of these days when I get it painted. Inside is really nice. Still all original.
pretty good shape for 1978. Get started change the oil i'm gonna put you on a tripod and uh i'm gonna do it in fast forward so it won't be so boring and we'll get right back to you in a minute Alright everybody, we finally got her going again there. It has a, the oil pan actually has a drain in the front and the rear. If you jack it up in the front, you really shouldn't have to mess with the front, but I, I drained it just to make sure we got it all out. But we got her changed, she got 60 pounds of oil pressure and we're going to start cleaning it up and make her a series on the channel. So, thank you guys for stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video with your friends, and have a blessed day.